How's it going guys? It's 6.16pm and we are going to be unboxing the ShineCon VR headset that I got a crap load of requests to do. So finally we are going to be doing it and after I'm finished doing this I will be doing the top 10 VR headsets of first half of 2016 and this will be one of them. So I ordered it on Amazon Prime for 35 Canadian dollars and just for you guys. So let's see what this thing is made really made out of. Let's see how good it is. So here's the box. First time having my hands on on a ShineCon. Yep, surprise, surprise. <laughs> let's get it over with. <clears throat> and there we go. That's it for the box. So let's see what we have here. A manual in English. All right. No QR code. Cool. And uh, service or warranty. A nice microfiber cloth as always. And the headset. And those are pads that you have to install yourself, like every other headset out there. So. I don't like logos on my headsets, especially rebrands, and I try not to review any rebrands. The Fit VR was no brand, so I mean that was okay, I guess. But here is the ShineCon, and I'll install those later. So let's see what, what what's up here. So this is magnetic, kind of flimsy, but stays on. Focus adjustable. Uniform, that's nice to see. And IPD adjustments. The padding is okay, I haven't put it on yet. And the, head, the headbands, this might actually be good. So, you, pro you guys have probably seen a crap load of reviews already on YouTube. And this is going to be one of them. The lenses here are too close to the eyes, I think. And then. You can actually unscrew them, so that's cool. Again, reminds me of the Fit VR. Okay, they're not screwed properly for some reason. Look at them, they're rotating. Is that how it's supposed to be? That is weird. And yeah, padding, padding seems nice. It's kind of like a pleather. It's removable, cleanable. So yeah, put it back on. This thing's already ripping, that's okay. The door reminds me of the Z3, but it doesn't have as strong as a magnet. But, it will keep your phone safe. This mechanism reminds me of the uh, VR box, but here it's much simpler, and I think it will be much better than the VR box with the sliding crappy door mechanism. But here basically, you get two of them. So, okay, I'm gonna have to take out my case. All right. And that slides in right there. Okay, so that's it. that's it, I guess. There's a nice thick seam in the middle to block the seam of the Google VR apps. So I'm going to try it out now, and I'm going to tell you how it is in just a sec. Alright, so I just got to try it out, and I'm impressed. And the reason I didn't review it before is because I already saw like tons and tons of reviews on YouTube and Reddit and everywhere talking about the ShineCon and how good it is. So I'm like, what's the point of ordering it? But now, I should have ordered it a long time ago. I mean, you know, it's just $35. But yeah, the reason, actually, no, actually the reason is I had a problem with GearBest. GearBest didn't uh, ship it because it was uh, not in stock. So I just canceled it and, like, and then I forgot about it totally because... The same reason because people, other people reviewed it before me, but uh, yeah, the lenses are actually good. You got all the focusing and IPD adjustments. It's comfortable. I mean, what else? It's a, it's a pretty good headset actually. I mean, it may not be immersive, but the lenses are clear and they're clean. Good for movie watching. I mean, would I recommend this? Yeah, if this is the only headset you can get your hands on, it's uh, it's not bad of a choice. Because I know some countries people don't get the choice of the headset they can get. Uh, they can't ship it or whatnot, but sometimes 
Uh, that's what, what this is the only thing you can get your hands on, and uh, I would say it's uh, it's a good buy. It's actually worth it. And yeah, so yeah, this is the Shine Con unboxing, very late edition. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the review. Stay tuned for the top ten, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.